Hey, what's up guys, Logo Vlox here. Welcome to Ellie on the Entrepreneur Lesson 1.4. Today, we're gonna be talking about exponents. As you guys have seen in the Cori Converter, to convert your US dollars into the colored coins, you have to know exponents for the human verification thing. So how do exponents work? Well, you know how in math, you know, it, you, you know how addition is, you know, you add stuff. One plus seven is basically you go seven down. Eight. Or what if I have two times seven? You're adding two plus two plus two. You're adding two to itself seven times. Or to make things easier, you just add seven to itself twice. Seven plus seven is 14. So two times seven is 14. But what about exponents? A lot of you guys probably already know this, but suppose I have something like this. What would two to the fourth be? Well, in exponents, order does matter. In this case, I mean, two to the four and four are two are the only things that are equivalent. But when you have a four right here and it looks like this, you're gonna multiply two by 12. When we do this, we get 16. Now, let's try a different one. What if I have like three, what if I have three squared? So remember, two means you, two is square, three is cube for exponents. Three squared, you do three times three, which is nine. Three squared and two to the third are not the same thing. Because if I have two to the third, I'd have two times two is two, which is eight. Okay. Let's try a different one. We're gonna do 16 to the power of three. So in this case, 16 times 16 is 256. 256 times 16. I'm not gonna ask you to do that on your test. Most likely you'll see like exponents like what is four to the four, which would be 256. So you're not gonna see anything too aggressive, but just make sure you know your exponents. So another rule I will talk about is, what if I have an exponent to zero? Any number to the zero, it's gonna equal one. I'm probably not gonna test you on that either, but just, just I mean, just in case, if you need like to know that, then the answer's one. Later on, we're gonna talk about what these, like what fraction exponents mean, but don't worry about those for now. Anyways, this is Circle Vlogs, and I'll see you guys next time.